We're taught that Shabbos is Me'ilam Haba. It's an aspect of the world to come. The Gemara Brachos teaches that Shabbos is 160th of the world to come. And on Friday night during the Shabbos meal, we sing in one of the melodies, one of the Zmiros, we sing Me'ina Lam Haba, Me'ina Lam Haba, Yom Shabbos Menucha. We say that Shabbos is an, is an aspect of the world to come. It's a day of rest, it's a day of tranquility, it's a day of not just yearning, but it's a day of tasting. And we're taught that Olam Haba, the world to come, in the Aramaic, is referred to as the Alma de Asi. Olam is world in Hebrew. And Alma is Aramaic. De'ati is the world to come. But we're taught that this Alma de Asi, this world to come, is not something that happens in a far off future, but rather it is something that is perpetually coming. It never quite arrives, but it is something that we create together and draw into this world through our actions. And in the six days of the week, we have the obligation and the responsibility to go into the shatterings of the worlds and of ourselves and to be able to liberate the sparks from within those places, to be able to be in the brokenness, in the difficulty, in the suffering, in the violence, with the task of trying to put that vessel back together to create a wholeness, to create a, 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 a shleimut, a, a whole that includes the cracks too, a wholeness that includes brokenness. And we're taught that it's our obligation, it's our responsibility to create the world to come in this world. But the world to come is not something stagnant. The Alma da Asi, this Olam Haba, is not something that just happens and then we're done. It's something that's perpetually coming. It's something that we're perpetually yearning towards. It's prefiguration. And through connecting to the attributes of Shabbos, in tasting one day of a week the world as it can be, we're invigorated to then go back into the brokenness, into the narrow confines, into the six days of the world, of, of, of the world and of the week, to reveal the, the essence of Shabbos within the week itself. And this Alma da Asi, de Asi, stands for Das de Asi. So Das, Emuna, Torah, and Tefillah, and Yichud. And it's through connecting to the four attributes of inner knowing, das, aleph, which is emuna, inner trust, Torah and tefillah is studying yearning, and yichud, being able to unify opposites and being able to bring about connection from seeming disparate places, like the oscillation of sound, which vibrates from side to side. It is through being able to have trust our inner knowing and our outer knowing, through being able to have inner trust, through being able to study and to yearn and to do the work of repair, yichudim, of bringing the brokenness and the wholeness together in a vessel that includes whole and broken. Then we're able to bring and reveal and grow the world that is perpetually coming within this world. We're able to reveal Shabbos within the week together because we can only do this together. And we have the obligation to continue to bring about the world to come in each and every moment.